Hello my dear aspirants, welcome to the best platform for the KPTCL courses for electrical engineering and junior assistant. Today I am going to discuss very very important things regarding two important confusions which students generally have. One is related to the outsiders who are applying to this vacancy and second is regarding the marks which you have to fill up in the courses okay so let's come to the main page where you need to apply so here the page where you have to apply this is nemaka.kar.nic.in when you will be going to this link your application will look like this one so if you are applying for assistant engineer or junior engineer you should click the first link or if you are applying the post of junior assistant you can click the second link now the very important thing is eligibility so right now only I want to clear very important thing that is eligibility so I am simply going to this page and I will show you that what eligibility they need exactly so when you will be selecting like assistant engineer either it will be uh, like electrical or civil so if you are applying for civil, you will directly see that what subjects they are preferring. As you can see, BE civil, B tech civil, pass in AMI in section A and B civil examination. So only these three will be your minimum qualification for that. Okay. So this is a must needed qualification. This has to be there. Okay. On the basis of this qualification only, you are actually eligible. So now second thing I want to show you about the assistant engineer electrical. So when you will be clicking electrical, you will be having BE electrical, BTEC electrical, in the same manner BE, BTEC, electrical and electronics, which generally students tell as triple E. Okay. And lastly, the pass in AMI section A and B electrical examination. So only these are the qualification on the basis of which you are eligible to apply for this particular vacancy right now further i want to tell you one another thing in the same manner now i want to tell you about the junior engineer very important see this very carefully so when you will be selecting this one now you will be getting option only for diploma so many students were having the query related to the iti so iti is not a qualifying degree or whatever it is you cannot apply only via iti diploma is must okay diploma is must even after that if you had done btech that is not any kind of issue but the primary qualification you have is diploma to apply for this particular vacancy so be very careful in the same manner uh, if you will select electrical you will be getting uh, these things as you can see here i'm again get back to it so diploma in electrical and diploma in electrical and electronics so i hope you will be like very careful in this now the next thing which i need to tell you is regarding the junior assistant post so in junior assistant post when you will be selecting okay there is only one option in junior assistant so in junior assistant what will happen the eligibility is second puc 12th standard cbse and 12th standard icse board okay so only these three qualifications are there okay second puc 12th standard cbse 12th standard iac so on the basis of this vacancy you are actually going to apply this one okay so this was all about the eligibility second thing now i am going to fill up the form and i will show you that how exactly you have to fill the forms okay so as suppose i am applying for assistant engineer electrical okay so have you applied to any other post so in the same vacancy if you had applied to any other post then you could simply mark it and they will be like asking you that like uh, what is the number the doc application id for that okay so if you had not if you are not filling any other post then simply click on no and you will not be asked any kind of like uh, application number okay after that thing everything here okay so applicants full name now i had filled all the details of application mother's name uh, and the father's name 
ओके नाउ द रिजर्वेशन कैटेगरी वॉट एवर योर रिजर्वेशन कैटेगरी इज देयर इट शुड बी अपडेटेड राइट ना लाइक बिफोर अप्लाइंग फॉर द वैकेंसी वॉट एवर द लास्ट डेट इज देयर यू शुड हैव द सर्टिफिकेट बिफोर द लास्ट डेट बिकॉज यू हैव टू अपलोड दैट सर्टिफिकेट वन मोर थिंग इफ सपोज यू हैड अप्लाइड फॉर इट ओके एंड जस्ट फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल आई एम टेलिंग यू सपोज यू हैड नॉट गॉट द न्यू सर्टिफिकेट बिफोर द क्लोजिंग डेट I will tell you to upload the older one, and if you further get selected while the document verification, what you have to do is you have to submit the newer one along with the older one. Okay, and there you should specify that sir at that time, this was not updated because of the COVID things, and further like you can show the newer one also along with the older one because older one you had uploaded on the website. So for the verification that will be needed. Okay, now. Uh, further you have to fill the date of birth suppose the date of birth is uh, 21st september okay 21st and further you have to select the month it will be september and further you have to select your year also so it should be according to the sslc certificate that means the 10th standard marks card it should be compulsory because at the time of verification it will be like properly verified and if it will not match then it will be an issue okay now further you have to fill the address for the communication now as you can see i had filled my address for communication one important thing in while filling the address for communication you will be asked to karnataka or other so that will not be an issue if you are residing in any other state and if you belong to karnataka properly it's just for address for communication like if you get selected then the official joining letter will be sent to you in the same address so no issues in that if the like other state can like if you are currently residing in any other state okay further you have to fill the gender okay three categories are mentioned if you are married you can fill yes or no if you are a rural applicant you can fill here yes and no if you will be filling yes then further you have to show this certificate of rural applicant during the document verification or if can it can be when uploaded also second is it is asking about kms kannad madhyam kannad madhyam means whatever your education in your 10th class is there it is properly in kannada medium or not so that is very important whatever the outside students who are applying so they should see this particular thing very carefully they are asking two details about the kannada medium one is they will be confirming you your kannada medium here of your 10th class and further they will be asking you related to the study in sslc or 10th standard as your first or second language or if you had studied the kannada language in any higher education okay like if you had studied that in diploma or you had given any examination in btech like right now nowadays in the colleges one kannada paper is compulsory right so if you had uh, like given those papers then it is okay but if suppose if you are not having any first language or second language then that will be an issue for that okay because further you have to again write the kannada paper you have to qualify for that and then your technical paper will be examined for the marks okay so keep this particular thing into your mind all the outsiders students who are applying for the kptcl so if suppose you had studied kannada madhyam okay in 10th you will click yes if you had studied it as a second language you should click on no if you are physically handicapped yes or no if you are an ex military person then again yes or no okay so everything you have to fill up here now 14th point are you claiming kkr reservation kkr means kolkata night riders sir so those who had supported kolkata night riders they are eligible for this no that doesn't means kkr reservation kkr reservation means karnataka kerala region no kalyan karnataka region that is very important so see this particular thing don't misunderstand this particular thing in any other case okay because majorly students had simply reported this these things so that's why i am telling you and now what regions actually come under kkr region okay kalyan karnataka region so bidar kalaburagi yadkir raichur koppal bellari all these districts actually come under your kkr region kk region okay kalyana karnataka region so these people can have their reservation and one very important thing which i need to tell you is these actually comes under your article 371 j so you should have that particular certificate if you are claiming this particular reservation so further you have to upload this one okay 
like uh, if you had clicked yes then they had simply refreshed and they will be like further asking you the to upload this particular certificate okay and if you are uploading no then there will not be any issue further they will be asking that whether you want age re relaxation under the rule kptcl rnp regulation so you can simply read this rule and you can select yes or no accordingly now they will be asking so this option will be let you like understand whether you have to attend the compulsory kannada paper or not okay so all the other state students of course they will not be having kannada as their first or second language but see what is the meaning of uh, first and second language first language means whatever your curriculum will be there okay from the 10th class or of regarding the 10th class i am talking about so that 10th class curriculum should be fully in kannada okay and whatever the examination you had written that should also be in kannada okay so that is known as first language second language means you are having or you are knowing kannada but whatever your curriculum is there okay whatever your curriculum is there so you had written the examination in english but uh, you had studied in the karnataka region and uh, the important thing is that in 10th class what happens you have to choose between like two subjects okay like english hindi and uh, kannada so if you had selected kannada as one of your language okay for the examination in 10th class then that will be considered as your second language because if you are clicking here a second language not in document verification you have to submit a proof of that so be careful while marking this particular thing if you had not chosen uh, like kannada as one of your subject then it will be difficult for you and even in your mark sheet that it will be written that whether your medium was kannada or not if it, it is your first language okay if it is your second language then of course that subject will appear into your 10th mark sheet that that that's not a need that you should write the examination in kannada but kannada should be one of your subject in class 10th or if you had studied that kannada in any higher classes so that are also considered here that those people will also be exempted from writing the kannada paper so i hope you get this particular thing so if you had like uh, have the first language as your kannada or if you had one of your subject as kannada in class 10th then you can click this particular as yes okay one more important thing if suppose you had chosen from the optional subject if you had chosen english and hindi okay or if, or if suppose some people were from icse board or cbse board and they had chosen english and hindi they had not selected kannada so your like kannada uh, will not be your second language then it will be your third language and you are not exempted from writing that kannada paper it's compulsory for you to clear that examination so be very careful while clicking this question otherwise further if you will not be able to provide the documents during that time then it, you will be disqualified okay now further you can write your sslc registration number so i had mentioned my sslc registration number i had selected btech electrical if you are having any other section you can select that you can further select the name of your college or institution and you have to mention your university also okay like if suppose you are from kls gopte belgaum now this is the important thing where students are having this much confusion that they are not able to fill the form regarding the total marks secured so according to the helpline number of uh, this kptcl we had confirmed that they only want this particular data for your qualification like if suppose the minimum eligibility criteria is 60% then they will simply shortlist you through this particular section so you have to fill this very properly so now as we had like uh, called the helpline so they had told that whatever your gpa is there if there is a system of gpa then in that case you have to use the conversion formula provided by your university that is important okay now the thing is if you are having university as vtu and if you are passed out from 2018 19 academic year then you will be having a cgpa system right so for only those students they are in confusion or only these students are in confusion that's what exactly we should fill out okay before that 
proper marks are provided so those students don't have any confusion they everything has been mentioned in their mark sheet that what total marks they had secured what was the total uh, maximum marks so that you can fill up here automatically the percentage will get calculated okay so you don't have to worry about that so for those students who are like from btu from the academic year and getting passed out from the academic year 2018-19 to till now so for them you have to if you are from vtu so for vtu there is a formula and that formula is like whatever cgpa is there okay like i will be selecting you i'm telling you like whatever cgpa is there so cgpa minus 0.75 okay further you have to multiply it by 10 okay so that much percentage you are having out of 100 so keep this particular thing into your mind okay so suppose you got suppose after calculating this particular thing suppose you got your answer as uh, 82.5 or 82.7 okay so you have to only write 82 okay you don't have to write uh, 83 okay so don't do that particular thing simply mention your percentage as 82 and your mark maximum marks as 100 inside that okay so there will not be any kind of issue in calculating the things many students had told that sir we will be writing from vtu connect see during the document verification if you are getting selected during the document verification they will not refer vtu connect frankly i am telling you they will only see the documents which is originally provided by the university and if the university is providing the cgpa then they will only consider the cgpa system okay or whatever the formula is there corresponding to that cgpa system okay so they will never going to refer that vtu connect so keep this particular thing into your mind okay convert the cgpa into percentage and simply fill up the details out of like 100 only okay that will be considered there and that will be overall performance so what is the meaning of this cgpa that cgpa is cumulative gpa okay that will show the overall performance of that candidate okay and there is sg sgpa also so that is semester wise marks so you don't have to consider the semester wise marks of all the semesters and then you can do the average no you have to consider the cgpa which you are getting in the mark sheet of your eighth semester this cgpa you will be getting in your eighth semester mark sheet okay so simply open your eighth semester mark sheet there you will be having your cgpa simply convert that cgpa into percentage and fill the details out there okay and one important thing if some people if like this is the genuine thing which you have to do okay but if some people is like getting disqualified from a very less marks okay for them only i am telling you they can refer like the vtu connect they can put the marks according to vtu connect and if you are getting qualified fill that detail and later on attach that document uh, during the document verification if you are getting selected okay so that is the thing which i need to tell you okay so i think you got the clarity that what marks you have to consider here don't go with the individual semester marks no cumulative gpa means that only it is showing your overall performance so at the end of eighth semester whatever your cgpa is there that will be only considered as the final one okay it is a cumulative one it is considering all the previous semesters performance also okay so total marks equals suppose I, I suppose i got 83.9 so i will be only writing 83 okay and maximum my marks i will be writing 100 now further you have to select the center suppose i am selecting dharwad further they will be asking you whether you are a state or central government servant if you are already serving government of india you can select yes if you are not serving select no if you are presently working in any private sector or in any organization then you should select yes if you are selecting this yes further after selection during the document verification they will be asking you the original experience certificate so be very careful don't be like you sh you should not provide any kind of false information because this is a government vacancy the cross checking is done in a very good manner so don't be like you should uh, attach any fake experience letters no that should not be done okay be very careful okay if you are presently working in a proper manner then only you should click this particular option the documents should be very authentic otherwise you will be debarred okay in future 
So, and uh, again, if they will be asking you that whether you have been dismissed from any of your services previously. So if you had dismissed, you can mention. If you're not, you can simply mark as no. So I hope you got the clarity. Further, you have to simply check mark this and you can preview this. If there will be, uh, you have not entered the address line three. Okay, so all the address line three is needed. And uh, further, I will be like writing it like this. Okay, and now I will be clicking here preview. Invalid, please check the values entered in door number. So there should not be anything in the door number. In the door number, I think no any special characters are allowed. Uh, house 41 uh, so now you can see that uh, the preview has been seen here that means all the details are properly updated further you have to uh, write the security code mentioned here so it will be 53z39 and further you can simply submit that okay if any information is wrong then in that case the edit option was there you should select that and first edit that particular thing very carefully because that can lead to the cancellation of your candidature at the time of document verification okay so be very careful while filling the form i recommend you to fill the form yourself only so now you will get the application id and with this application id whatever the documents which has to be attached you will be simply attaching one simply copy that from here and further you will be going to the home page and filling the other details okay so as you can see you had already so you have to upload your photo signature and thumb impression here so simply post your application id here date of birth so date of birth which i had provided was 21st september and it was 1998 so this and you will simply going to submit that okay so now they will be asking you this one so this this dimension is important Th 45 mm height and 35 mm width okay so you can convert this particular thing via ms paint also so that i will be telling you that how exactly you have to upload this particular now students if you will upload any different kind of image now apart from that resolution then you will get some error like this okay so how to like remove such errors and how to upload the images properly so for that what you have to do is simply search for paint okay so you should simply open ms paint and simply you should like uh, directly you should open okay one uh, you can go to desktop and uh, suppose there is a suppose this photo is there so in this photo what you have to do is like in the website what they had mentioned is like again i will keep getting back to this so they want 45 mm height and 35 mm width so you can simply check the like uh, ratio of this so when you will see the ratio now you will get that this is 9 is to 7 okay so i will what i will be doing is I will simply check this resolution. I, I, I can see that this height is 472. So I will simply select any value close to 472 which is divisible by 9. Okay. So just like uh, 9 is uh, into uh, 5. It is 450. Right. So what I will be doing. I, I, we have to simply select what? We have to simply select seven. Uh, 9 is to 7. Okay. So what I will be doing. I will go into resize and I will go to pixels and what i will be doing suppose vertical height okay it's not like you should only select 450 you can even select 360 also it's upon you okay if you are selecting 360 untick this maintain aspect ratio untick this particular thing and further in the horizontal in the same manner you have to consider if this 360 is 9 then what will be 7 it will be like uh, multiply this 360 with 7 divided by 9 so when you will divide 360 by 9 it will be like 40 40 into 7 will be 280 so it should be 280 so you can simply select 280 and simply control plus s and when you will do this control plus s the size will get reduced automatically as you can see the size is 24.2 kb or if the size is itself not getting reduced in that case again you can simply in the percentage section only you can simply 
like make it 80% or make it 90% it's upon you okay make it 90% the aspect ratio will remain the same the things will remain the same again set the things the size will decrease okay and now what you will be doing first of all select the file choose the file as you can see the photo is now simply uploaded the signature can be anything the horizontal length should be larger and the vertical height should be less and the size should be minimum okay one more thing if you have any kind of doubt like if you if you are not able to reduce the size if you are scanning simply from your mobile there can be a possibility that your size will be very larger in that case simply open a website compress now select the image compress it like you can even compress up to 45 percent and get the finally compressed image you can directly download and simply upload that no issues will be there and directly you will be able to upload in the same manner you can upload the thumb also like uh, suppose i am older as you can see i had dummy thumb and i will be uploading that so suppose it will get uploaded okay and one more thing many people will find that uh, sir because in images they are only telling to upload the jpg file so how to convert any other format into jpg i will simply tell you uh, kptcl photo simply go to uh, right click go to properties and here you will be finding dot jpg if you want to convert that into png write it in png and if you want to convert this into jpg then you can write it like jpg and you can simply select ok ok the you will they will tell that uh, the extension will be changed so you can simply do that let the extension be changed it will be converted into jpg very easily so as you can see as we had changed the extension file that is we had changed into dot jpg we had very easily able to upload the thumb impression okay and here it will appear like thumb impression upload success now many people will say sir we are not having that thumb printing then simply take out your blue pen okay and rub on your left thumb with that uh, pen pen ink okay and simply like it will take one or two minutes okay in childhood like we used to do that okay in the same manner so you can do some jugad and simply take a impression on a white sheet and simply scan with that your uh, phone camera and directly like uh, you can further change the resolution and change the extension file name very easily and you will be able to upload okay and further simply after upload go to home and uh, again and uh, further if you need anything like you can upload your caste certificate and your hk reservation certificate that is article 371j and further you can generate your post chalan you can again log in with the same id date of birth month year and further you can generate your post chalan and make the payment so it is getting loaded so as you will be filling the details this particular screen will appear and simply you have to take the printout of this as you can see the option here you can take the printout and you can simply pay this at your nearest e-payment post office in karnataka only okay and further you have to confirm your e-payment on this particular website after two days of payment okay because the site needs to get updated for two days and after that you can simply uh, confirm your e-payment on the given websites now i am overall summarizing each and everything what i have discussed in this particular video and other information which was left see first of all regarding the eligibility if you are final year you are not eligible before the form filling you must be passed out from your college okay second thing regarding junior assistant for junior assistant puc is compulsory puc you might if some other state candidates are there it means the 12th class 11th 12th is compulsory diploma people are not allowed for the junior assistant post okay so next is outsiders for outsiders if you are from any other state you have to compulsorily write the Canada paper okay so keep this particular thing into your mind and regarding the Canada paper I must tell you it is even the descriptive now from the last year the tests has been very difficult 
few months before kpwd canada paper has happened and it was very difficult people were even not able to score 30 40% okay so i don't think that if any outsider students will be applying and if uh, like uh, they will be able to clear this canada test okay so outsider candidates fill this form carefully if you will not be able to qualify the canada paper your technical paper will not be evaluated next is regarding the marks i had already told you if you are having any cgpa system then you must refer the conversion formula of your own university okay that has been provided by your own university only next is regarding the kkr reservation okay kalyan karnataka reservation okay so you must be having that article 371j certificate to be uploaded if you are claiming that reservation next if you are applying for for aej or junior assistant separately like if you are applying for two posts then you have to give two different forms two different challans if suppose 600 rupees is the cost of one form then for two forms you have to pay 600 and 600 separately you have to fill up two different separate forms okay next is regarding the kms if some student is like uh, having kms certificate like uh, kannada madhyam certificate then you, any older certificate will not be there you have to compulsorily now you have to download the format from the official website of kptcl you have to make it sign from your school principal then go to district beo officer and make it sign from there for kms if you are like having an advantage of kannada madhyam okay so for that this has to be done compulsorily for category students and many are having a confusion that sir whether it should be in the given uh, Canada format or I am having the English format. So both will be applicable. Don't worry about that. If you are having that English format, that will also be applicable. Next is regarding the rural certificate. So if you are having the older one also, then it will be okay. If you are getting selected, then at the time of document verification, you can submit the newer one along with the older one. Next is about the physically handicapped candidate if you are physically handicapped you don't have to submit the central government certificate it will not be applicable you have to compulsorily download the format you have to submit and you have to take the signature from any city government hospital of karnataka you don't have to take the sign from any private like hospitals so this was all about and lastly i would summarize the things about the courses we are providing we are providing for kpd electrics uh, electrical video course and test series are included see we had kept the prices very very low this is our first time that we are like uh, promoting this particular course okay previously we had not promoted this one this time we are promoting it online also okay for both junior assistant and kptcl electrical video course a pool of faculties are there don't worry about the faculties don't worry about the content and compulsorily all faculties will complete your course by march 2022 and the non-tech videos will be included overall you will find 200 plus hours technical and 100 plus hour gk and aptitude videos and i will be providing you 300 plus test subject wise plus full mocks okay that will be included inside that 300 test even the pdf will be accessible through the app and uh, like one uh, access you will be getting on your mobile one access you will be getting on your windows platform like uh, in a desktop or laptop so two devices i am giving you accessible one at a time like you can stream only on one device at a time so there will not be any kind of issue if any other problem arises a very good quality discussion group only for problems is there i can show it to you so simply join that particular group only for discussion of your technical subjects and non-technical subjects no any extra irrelevant activities should be there okay you have to maintain the decorum of the group and if any extra promotional or anything extra that will be there you will be directly banned without any prior notification to you i'm frankly telling you if you are today taking our course if you are ready to do the hard work you have to follow what i am going to tell you that's it if you are ready for that then you should join if you are not ready for that hard work i must say even if you will spend lakh rupees two lakh rupees you will not get that selection okay i must assure that if you will follow the path you will get the success okay thanks a lot thanks for watching please subscribe this particular channel 
because I am going to take the aptitude portion live in the month of March. Okay, all the best guys. And if you have any kind of issue, simply comment down below. I will try to reply all your doubts within the least possible time. Okay, and to buy any courses, simply add the course to your cart and go to cart or my account and simply you can proceed to check out and simply you can make the payment to directly purchase and automatic activation of the course.